In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play time just like this. Alright friends, in about 20 seconds we're gonna deep dive into time. I'm gonna go over rhythm section, the outro, the brief reprise part and the famous glorious solo. Here's a guarantee for you, if you don't improve your Gilmore style in this video, please put a dislike down below and tell me in the comments. Now let's start. Alright, let's start with the rhythm part. So, we're on the key of F sharp minor. Okay? And the chords are throughout this video, except for the ending, is F sharp minor. A. E. And F sharp minor again. Okay, and then you're gonna do this one more time, and then you're gonna be playing this. Okay, and then this. Okay. After a while, you're gonna do. No one told you when to run. Now, you missed the starting gun. Right? We're gonna get to that. Now let's dive into this rhythm part, okay? I'm gonna increase my gain just a bit because we need that, we need this tone. Well, maybe not this, but this. You see, maybe, maybe just a bit lower. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna, you see, this is E, and with your thumb, you're gonna just hammer onto the F sharp, okay? And now you're gonna pick randomly. This is key to the time studio version, okay? This is, you're gonna play it randomly, there is no order. You see? Okay? And after a while, you're gonna change to the A, A major. And you see this little fill in here? This is A. You're gonna use your middle finger here on the third on the B string, okay? Okay? Da, da, da. Okay? You're gonna do a three, three, and then you're just gonna. You know, and then you're not gonna pick the B string here. B string, B string, now B string, okay? Okay? And now E, you filter away the hours in a fat way. You see, the rhythm never changes, it's just... You gotta just pick the low strings and then pick the high strings. It depends on your taste, but... You know, low, high, low, high. You see? Let's play again. By the way, what a great tone, right? What a great tone. And now there's this... There's this mini thing here. Okay? What you gotta do is, uh, your pointing finger is gonna be on the second on B, and then your, ideally, your ring finger is gonna be on the fourth on G. And now you're gonna pick both of them, but not like... You gotta be very patient. You see? Then I pull off here. Now, very quick pull off here. And now you're gonna roll your pointing finger to the D string, okay? 
Okay, let's play from top. Okay, but now on the second time, we're gonna do a bit different filling. Let's play this. Do something like this, okay? Very cool stuff. You're gonna do, uh, let's sing it too. Hey, kicking around, let me just so you can hear. Kicking around on a piece of proud in your hometown. Okay, you're gonna slide. Okay, you're gonna slide to the, but listen, listen to this, listen to this. Listen to this. Okay? And then you're gonna just jump back into E. Now. Then we're gonna end the first verse here, okay? Just tired of lying in the sunshine, staying home to watch the rain. This is all, this this is all. And then one day you find ten years of God behind you now. This is B minor. No one told you when to run. Okay, we're gonna get the solo, but first, but first let's finish the rhythm part, okay? Let's go to the second verse. So let's say you watch the solo part and learn everything. Now how are you gonna continue? Uh, let's play this part. And you run and you run to catch up with the sun, but it's sinking. You're gonna do something like this. You know, you're gonna slide to and pick the seventh here. This doesn't have to ring out, okay? But if you want, you can just you know this rings out. It's a little chaotic, it depends on your taste. And then you're gonna slide down full step. Okay, I highly recommend you use your uh, middle finger here to mute the G string here, you know? You know? So you can play this. You know? Because it's hard to just do this with your finger and uh, pick. You're gonna slide. Now you're gonna do, this is on the third and this is on the fourth. Again, G string is uh, muted. Okay? And then second, second. Let's play this again. Okay, now you're gonna, this is E again. Same thing, completely same thing. And then the last, uh, last part. Now after this, you're gonna slide, you can do something like this, okay? This is 10, 11, G string is still muted, or, or you can just, but this doesn't sound quite right, you know? This sounds better. Uh, and then, of course, E again. Okay, now again. Alright, 
This is uh, exactly the same. So to avoid any confusion, I'm gonna uh, play the uh, verse one and verse two. Uh, without the solo in between them and then we're gonna go into the brief reprise and then we're gonna look at that glorious solo, okay? Let's go I'm gonna skip Let's say you finish the solo again This is again completely same. Okay, so let's go to the breathe through prize and I'm gonna open up my Univibe. Alright, so this is uh, not a tricky part, uh, not a hard part either. So let's say, I mean, sun is something more to say this is E minor 7 I highly recommend you use your pointing and uh, you know uh, pinky here okay this is it this is E minor E minor 7 and then A Okay, but there are many fill-ins here too. Okay, it's not that hard. Uh, it's pretty close to what we played. So the first fill-in starts right uh, when you just enter the breathe reprise. This is it. And you already know how to play this. You know, you already know how to play this. And then you're gonna Get back to the rhythm again. Let's play this again. Again. You know? And on the second one, right before the uh, lyric starts, you're gonna do this again. Okay? Very basic stuff. Okay? Let's play from start. Uh, home again. You know? This, this, these two. And these these are your main main uh, fillings. You gotta do, you can just repeat them. You can just add this to. You know, I just and you learn this too, and uh, at, at the beginning. So anyway, you got a lot of fillings in your arsenal. It's up to you to fill them up. Uh, let's play from here. I 
I just improved. Now, now we're gonna finish the song with this. You're gonna do it. Now B minor. Okay. Now F major. You can just play like this, like Hendrix, or you can just play like this. By the way, uh, you can just have this open if you want. You know, have this. Okay, and then G. Now there's this weird. Okay, tabs are useful here. Okay, this is it. Let's play this from start. Let's play a brief reprise. And that was time, rhythm, and breed for price part. Let's go to the main solo. So what you gotta do after... I mean, there are people doing this. You know, it's a very scratchy, very bad sound. But actually, I don't know, you can just... You can just slide down too. If this sounds better for you, uh, in my cover I did that too. But it's very, very in the background, you know? It's not present. Uh, you gotta slide your pick right across like that, okay? You're gonna slide to the fourth. Give this vibrato. And then... Listen to this bend. You see? I'm not... I'm not just releasing full, I'm releasing half. Now... Okay, this is our first lick. You're gonna... Vibrato here is very important, it adds so much to this solo, because you just... This sounds very boring, right? But now, listen to this. Okay, now we're gonna slide. You're gonna slide to the six. You can just do. You can just do. But it's ideal to play this alone, you know? Okay? But I like to have this. Okay? Then you're gonna slide to the fourth again immediately. But now, without the new bar starting, you're gonna just pick this... Okay? Okay, now you're gonna slide... Okay? Okay, let me play that again. After this release... 
You're gonna immediately use your pointing finger, uh, middle finger here, and slide to the ninth. You see? And then after this slide, you're gonna catch the ninth on high E. And then there's this gonna be chaotic. You know? You're gonna hear this. And... How step band? And then there's this big bend here. Let's play from the start, okay? Let's play from the start. Let's say you did the pick stuff. This is a big band, and I highly recommend you roll your th fingers like this. Look at my fingers. I'm just rolling my fingers, and then releasing the B string here. There's this big band here, and then you're gonna slide. Let me just close, let me just use this. That just killed all the bass. You're gonna slide to the... Okay? It doesn't matter where you slide actually, I prefer to slide like... Maybe to 16, I mean, whatever I feel like. It doesn't matter because it's not gonna ring out that much. What's gonna ring out is this. Okay? You're gonna slide, slide whatever you want. You can just stop here at the 14 too. Now, you're not gonna pick anything again. Okay? Now, there's this big bend. You see that? Full and a half step bend first, and then a full step again uh, later. You see? Let's play this again. Now what you gotta do is... You're gonna do something like this, okay? After this big bend, you're gonna slide down. You're gonna pick this 14 here. Listen to this vibrato. You see? Okay? Then you're gonna be on the new bar, you're gonna. Do something like this, okay? You see this? You see? Listen to this. Okay, now... I hear a lot of people saying... You gotta pick this... Open B string. I don't know if that's true, what do you guys think? I like to play... I like to just pick the 17 here... And then continue... Okay, so what you gotta do is, if you decide to play the 17th... Now... 
okay? But don't just play because everything's gonna ring out and it's gonna sound very bad. Just, you know, after you pick, you gotta lift your fingers. Now, we're gonna finish the, uh, the main part like this. Okay, let's play the main solo from start and then we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish this part, okay? I, I, sorry about that. Now what you gotta do is... Okay, you're gonna... You're gonna slide to the fourth. And then catch the second and slide that too. To seven. And then catch the seventh here. You know, tabs are useful here. I mean, why do I even say that? Now... You see? Okay. Now... You gotta... You could just play this here too. Okay. Now... This is a big bend. You see what I did? Okay. Now, this is, this is a pull-off. You see? With the fuzz it's gonna sound huge, of course. Now what you gotta do is... You gotta slide to the sixth. And you run around to catch up with the sun, but it's in You know, it's gonna continue like this. Okay, I'm gonna play the whole solo from start to finish, and then we're gonna finish this tutorial, okay?
This is it. Why did I even do that? Alright friends, hope you enjoyed this one. Time is not a hard song to master, but it's a great step towards your inner Gilmore, you know? It's a great way to improve your Gilmore style. If you enjoyed this tutorial, there are tons of tutorials just like this one on my Patreon. You guys are voting every week which tutorial I gotta do. We already have like tons of rare tutorials, the best Gilmore solos, best Gilmore rhythms, everything's there. Pedal by pedal, specific tone guides for certain songs, and pedal alternatives, tabs, backing tracks, everything's there. If you wanna know more about time tone I got, check this video out. I use Creative Pedal Dunar module there, not affiliated. And if you like time's rhythm overdrive sound, check this video out. It's probably the best overdrive for Gilmore style. It's my opinion and it's not affiliated, but you are going to love both of these. I'll see you guys there.